Hey fam, it's so good to be with you for today's devotional. We're gonna be going to 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17. Here the Apostle Paul pens words to us about becoming a new creation. Now, if you're new to the Bible and you're new to the people of the Bible, the Apostle Paul was a man who was far from God. He was a man who, who was filled with hate. His scripture would even tell us that he, would, he was after Christians, he would hunt Christians, yet he would have an encounter with God that radically changed his life. So much so that, ha that our New Testament, so many of the words of our New Testament have been penned by him. He was a pioneer of the faith. He planted churches, he pastored people. God radically changed his life. And these words that he shares with us today are a testament to what God did in his life. And they're true for us. It says this in verse 17. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old has passed away and see the new has come. The new has come. I love that. You know, we were all born with a sin nature. Whether you like it or not, we were born with a sin nature, born into a sinful world. Yet Jesus Christ, before we were even born thousands of years ago, He went to the cross for our sin and our shame. He would take it to the grave and He would rise in victory three days later where we would stand in freedom because of His victory. I'm so grateful today that Jesus, He has taken on our sin and our shame, where it no longer has control over us. See, the moment that we become Christ's followers, where we become sons and daughters of God, sin is wiped away. It is broken and it is off of our life. I'm so grateful for that good news. Yet this side of eternity, we're still gonna struggle with sin. It doesn't have control over us like it did in the past, yet we will still struggle with it. But when we enter into a relationship with Jesus, we enter in on a spiritual journey with Him. And that journey is known as sanctification. Sanctification is where we become more like Jesus, where we grow in holiness, where we, we walk in His ways, where we become imitators of Christ, becoming more and more like Him. And when we fall short, which we do, we all fall short of the glory of God. When we do, Jesus loves to forgive us. He loves to forgive us of our sins. He loves to help us. He loves to make us new. And so today I wanna encourage you, seek repentance. Be a person who comes before the Father and you position yourself to be with Jesus. And it is the Holy Spirit who is your advocate, your helper, who will help you become new, making you more and more like Jesus. I'm so grateful today that we have the good news of the gospel who teaches us what it looks like to be like Christ, the Holy Spirit who helps us to become more and more like Him. He loves to forgive. He loves to pour out His grace and He loves to be with us. And so today I wanna encourage you, draw near to Jesus. You have been made new. The old life is gone. It has no hold on you. And God is calling you into even greater with Him. Isn't that good news for us today that He loves to be with you, He loves to journey with you, and He has the best in store for each and every one of us. I wanna pray for us. I wanna pray if there's any type of sin that, is, that has uh, clung itself to you, that it is broken off in Jesus' name, and that you would walk in the victory that Jesus has for you. Will you pray with me today? God, I thank you that we stand in victory with you. Lord, I thank you that you took our sin and our shame to the cross, that it no longer has a hold on our life. But God, today we stand in freedom because of what you did for us. Lord, I pray for my friend today who's listening, who, who might be walking through um, some sin and, and, and shame that feels like it's heavy. And God, I thank you that we're covered by your blood, that it has no control over my friends listening today, but yet they are submitted to you, which means that the Holy Spirit now controls their life. And so God, I thank you that you love to cover us. You love to forgive us. You love to pour out your grace upon us. And God, I pray that today we would draw even closer to you. We would be made more like you and we would do the things that you have chosen us to do. In your name I pray, amen, amen. Have a great day, friends. We'll see you here next time.